Hi everyone, let's begin introduction to Econometrics. Number of research scholars, they were asking, I'm kindly explain Econometrics and various kinds of Econometrics tests we are going to use with the help of various uh, softwares like eView, Stata, we are going to use after that. But first of all, before starting, before moving towards the software, we must understand what is the Econometrics? Why do we need Econometrics? And what is the importance in research of this econometrics? So first of all, econometrics means economic measurement. We are doing measurement of economic measurement. So econometrics may be defined as the social science in which the tools of economic theory, mathematics, and statistical inference are applied to the analysis of economic phenomena. As per Arthur, this definition has been given and citation already I had mentioned here in 1964. And another definition we can, that is already published in Econometrica report of the Evaluative Committee for Econometrica. And this one is the Econometrics, the result of a certain outlook on the role of economics consists of the application of mathematical statistics to economic data to lend empirical support to the models constructed by mathematical economics and to obtain numerical results. So and we would understand why we are moving towards the uh, to get the desired results and with the help of one of the example. Econometrics is a, why, this, that is the question arises, why econometrics as a distinct subject? So example of uh, demand and price we are going to take, suppose uh, commodities price is going up, so demand will go down. And when the price is going down and demand will go up. So this is the, uh, basic phenomena, but the main concern of mathematical economics to express economic theory in mathematical form. So how do we uh, reflect in the form of the equation? So econometrics, as noted previously, is mainly interested in the empirical verification of economic theory. So let's say any economic theory is existing. So we would like to do verification, empirical verification of that theory. That is the econometrics. So economic statistics is mainly concerned with collecting, processing and representing economic data in the form of charts, tables and these are the job of the economic statistician. And economic statistician are basically that would validate all the results and they are going to represent all these results in the form of the chart, tables, visualization of the data. But if we will talk about traditional econometric methodology, number one is there are some few steps. First is statement of theory or hypothesis. Second is specification of the mathematical model of the theory. Third one is the specification of the statistical or econometric model. Fourth one is obtaining the data. We are going to obtain the data and and then the fifth, at the fifth stage, estimation of the parameters of the econometric model, then the hypothesis testing. And finally, we are moving towards the forecasting of predictions. And last one is using the model for control or policy purpose, whether we are using this model for the control purpose or for the policy purpose. So one by one, we would discuss all these steps. So first, st first step was statement of theory or hypothesis. So here is we are going to take example of the Keynes uh, psychological law of consumption. So Keynes postulated that the marginal propensity to consume MPC, the rate of range of consumption for a unit, say a dollar change in income is greater than zero, but less than one. It means that means if the person's income will increase, so automatically consumption would in also increase, but not up to that level in that proportion income is increased. So that is why it is greater than zero, but less than one. Second point is, second uh, step is specification of the mathematical model of the theory. Now here is what we have to do. Keynes postulated a positive relationship between consumption and income. He did not specify the precise form of the functional relationship between the two. So Keynes uh, consumption function was y, beta 1, that one is the 1, right? Beta 1, beta 2 and x. And here is simply I just modify this beta 1. So beta 1 plus beta 2 x. So this beta 2 would be greater than 0 but less than 
part where is y is consumption expenditure and x is income and where is beta 1 and beta 2 what are representing here beta 1 and beta 2 these are the parameters of the model that is showing intercept and slope that means we can we we are talking about beta 1 is we are saying that is intercept that is intercept right intercept we have to write intercept and this is the beta 2 what we can call it that is the slope we will understand in our uh, those videos i am going to prepare in the in, in future so here is i'm going to express intercept and slope consumption expenditure is the dependent variable and income is the explanatory variable so consumption expenditure is the dependent variable and income is the explanatory variable so means y is dependent variable and x is the independent variable or we can call it explanatory variable and in continuation a model is simply a set of mathematical equations if the model has only one equation as in the preceding example it is called a single equation model because we have used single equation model because we have single equation but if the more than one equation it is known as the multiple equation model so in our case in our example this is the single equation model and variables appearing on the left side of the equality sign is called the dependent variable and variables on the right side is called the independent or explanatory variables i had already expressed it specific third step is a specification of the statistical and economic model and now now we come to the and in, in the second step, we had simply prepared our economic uh, equation, but it is a uh, we have to discuss other factors also. Like in addition to income, other variables affect consumption expenditure. For example, size of family, ages of the members in the family, family religion, etc., are likely to ex exert some influence on the consumption. So we econometrician modify the deterministic consumption function and it is like that. Y beta 1 plus beta 2 x plus u. U stands for disturbance or error term or random stochastic variables and here is disturbance term u may well represent all those factors that affect consumption but are not taken into account explicitly so here is you can see y is our expenditure consumption expenditure now you can see y is our consumption expenditure and x is our income but rest of the factors we had ignored size of family ages of the members family religion etc so that is would be part of the that is why we had incorporated u that means error term because definitely this uh, this why we are calling it error term because other factors would also influence consumer expenditure means not we cannot say 100 percent income is income is influencing consumer expenditure so customer expenditure would be governed by other factors also so that is why we had put it u now is fourth one is obtaining the data to estimate the econometric model to obtain the numerical values of the beta 1 and beta 2 data required but that means because when we would like to calculate beta 1 and beta 2 so we required data and for example in our case y is our consumer expenditure and x is our we are calling it income so we need in our example both these columns means we require y and we require x where is income and consumer expenditure data in terms of numbers numerical values is required not in terms of alphabet alphabet so next is fifth point estimation of the parameters of the econometric model the statistical technique of regression analysis is the main tool used to obtain the estimate suppose we are we have run this model and we had used that these data and finally we have got the values of beta 1 and beta 2 and by hat means we are talking about this one is an estimate means we are talking about this y hat that is representing estimated value the average or mean consumption expenditure went up by up to 63 cents for a dollar increase in real income that means we are saying let's say on an average a person's if one dollar income will increase so customers uh, consumers they are 
spanning 63 cents, right, on the as a expenditure. So uh, as per this, as per this equation, right, maybe in the other, it depends upon the data set that would keep on varying. So my beta two value is 0.6318. So I, that is why I'm saying 63 cents, they are spanning. And sixth point is hypothesis testing, confirmation or refutation of the economic theory on the basis of sample evidence is based on the branch of statistical theory known as statistical inference and hypothesis testing. So here is on the basis of statistical, if the statistics would support, then only we are going to accept hypothesis. If the statistics does not, uh, does not support, so we are going to reject the hypothesis. And forecasting or prediction means if the chosen model does not refute the hypothesis or theory under consideration, we may use it to predict the future values of the dependent or forecast variable y on the basis of the known or expected future value of the explanatory or predictor variable. Like for example, if suppose I have data uh, GDP and FDI, right? I'm saying FDI depends on GDP. GDP is my independent variable and FDI is dependent variable. Uh, let's say I have past year's data and I just want to predict some data for the for the for the near future. Let's say for the 2025, I want to predict uh, uh, FDI, what could be the FDI inflow in our country and that depends upon GDP. So we can predict this data. So using the model for control of policy and finally we can see an estimated model may be used for control of policy purpose by appropriate fiscal and monetary policy mix. The government can manipulate the control variable to produce the desired level of the target variable. So in that way we are going to uh, understand one by one but I will take an example and I would run this example in any software then I would explain you each and every step. So I hope this video would be helpful. So stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you.